Okay, so today I have a great pleasure to talk to Gabrielle, who is a Kundalini yoga teacher and also my friend. And uh, I would like. Hi, Gabs. Hello, Aggie. How are you? <laughs> good. How are you today? Very good. Good, good. Today I would like to ask you a few questions because I've heard you, you've got a retreat coming up. Yes. And, uh, could, you, um, could you tell me a little bit more about it? Yes, sure. So it's going to be a yoga and painting retreat. And it's quite a unique combination because we're going to do Kundalini yoga class in the morning. And then there will be a painting workshop, watercolors painting workshops, sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon. And then we'll do evening meditation as well. So yeah, looking oh, forward to it. Mm -hmm. Gosh, sounds enticing. And uh, why, why did you start organizing these retreats? What made you... Oh yeah, well we started to think about doing this with, um, with Songul, which is a painting teacher. We're both really passionate about what we're teaching. And so the fact of having a whole group like this for one week is really exciting because you really see the improvement from the beginning until the end and then you just see all the friendships that are happening and it's just being part of this um, energy group is just really special it's really nice i think there is something about the group energy as well isn't yeah. there yeah completely yeah, it's great <laughs> you've seen some pictures from last year's retreat and they looked amazing oh, gosh yes yeah uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so you mentioned a kundalini yoga could you tell me a little bit more about what what kundalini yoga is about you know, to someone who doesn't really yeah. know yoga, you know, they might wonder. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's a yoga I've been doing for over 10 years, so I really love it. I find it very uh, transformative and it's for everyone. And it's very complete practice. So we're using um, breathing techniques, we're using physical posture with movement and meditation and also mantra. So while well, it's working on, it's really improving the nervous system, it balances the glands, it improves the immune system, it assists in uh, detoxification and it, it strengthens the electromagnetic fields. So I'd say in one word, I really feel like um, it's improving people's life on a deeper level. It's really um, on the physical side, emotional side, spiritual side. It's really, it's amazing. It's very deep. You really feel that the more you do it, the more you, you start doing things that are more true to, to yourself, really. So it doesn't mean that if you're doing it, because it sounds so amazing, but doesn't mean that if you're doing it for like the duration of the retreat, so if you, if, is it a few days or a week? Uh, yeah, it's one week. It's one yeah. week. It doesn't mean that there is more of an impact, you know, that it's not just a one hour class. You're doing it in the succession of a few days. Every day, yeah. So you, you really feel something. You really feel the transformation. So that's really great to see that. Oh, yeah, we go deeper and deeper. So we really, we're starting slow. Um, mm -hmm. And then we, we raising the vibration, really. Yeah, yeah. So a bit higher. Yeah. And what about the, the painting, uh, the paint, painting workshop? Because that's part of that as well, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that's with Songul, and so they're doing the session in various uh, really lovely locations. I know one of them is in the La Tour Marliac, and this is a uh, water lilies garden. Uh, it's been made famous by um, Claude Monet, the painter. So it's really lovely place to do painting there, and then in various places in the in where we're staying as well. So, so that's like a good place to paint as well. Yeah. 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 Do you need it's, to experience it's, yeah. uh, in painting before before the retreat? Or N not really. Some people have never painted. Some people uh, paint regularly, so they like to bring the equipment. But if someone doesn't have the equipment, we've got everything. Okay. Um, Same place. Yeah. Okay. So it's really for every level. Fantastic. Oh, you can hear some ice cream here <laughs> <laughs> in the background. Uh, so where, where does it take place? The retreat. So we're doing it in Faisal. This is a beautiful place. It's a um, holiday cottage with a pool, and it's uh, in a lovely area of, uh, of France in the southwest. So it's around an hour, a bit more than an hour away from Toulouse. Oh. It's a really peaceful location in the Lot et Garonne. Yeah. Okay. So is it a, a remote location, far away yes. from civilization and city? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really feel on your own with the nature, so that's that's really a good place, yeah, to do that. I suppose, especially uh, an amazing experience for people, you know, as people who live in cities and yes, want to get away for a while. Exactly, it's really a perfect place to just relax, slow down, 
and really taking time to come back to themselves. And speaking um, of that, I just wonder, because you know, you, you've done it before, um, have you noticed um, some kind of interesting transformations that people have reported, you know, after yeah. this week? Could you yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, there's many things happening. I'm just thinking about this, uh, this girl from, um, from last year who said that this was so transformative for her. I know that after the retreat, a couple of months after, I know she quit her job and she moved to a complete other place in another country really and she just redirected her life in a, in a direction that was more true to herself and fits better with what she really wanted to do so that's amazing to hear that so how transformative it was just in one week so uh, yeah that's great so that she realized what she had been doing before was not really her exactly yeah so it, it just came at the right time for her she was probably aware that she was in a, in a situation that was not right for her and that, that retreat came and then it gives her answer to where to go after that, so... Lovely, and I suppose, yeah. Yeah, it sounds amazing and I suppose there are friendships forming as well in the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah lovely. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, okay, feels really, really good and enticing. Oh my yeah, God. you coming? <laughs> Yes, I, I was actually, uh, I wanted to do it last year, but for some technical reasons I couldn't. Mm. I'd love to come this year actually, yes. yes. Yeah. It sounds like a dream. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much Gabby for talking to me. And My pleasure. Hopefully I'll see you at the retreat. Yeah, that'd be great. Cool, see you soon. Bye-bye.